Officer-in-Arms Alistair Bruce says it is unlikely Harry will wear a military uniform. Predicts as he is no longer a serving member of Army he may wear morning suit. Bruce says that Harry still has the option of wearing uniform on his big day. Since the announcement of Prince Harry's engagement to Meghan Markle speculation has mounted over what we can expect the bride to wear on her big day. However, Meghan isn't the only one who will need to make a good impression, with her dashing fiancé also expected to dress the part for what is sure to be one of the most watched weddings of all time. But while a version of the classic white wedding dress is almost certainly a given for Meghan, what a prince will wear is less clear. According to one former army officer and respected royal commentator, Prince Harry might not follow in the footsteps of his older brother, who wore full military attire to marry Kate Middleton in 2012. In fact Alastair Bruce suggested that the happy couple's chosen location, St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, makes it more likely Harry will choose a traditional morning suit. William wore the uniform of the Colonel, Irish Guards at his wedding, because he had recently been appointed to this role by the Queen and his wedding was a ceremonial one. However, according to former Army officer Bruce, a ceremonial expert who is a royal commentator for Sky News, we are unlikely to see Harry in uniform when he and Meghan exchange vows next spring. Speaking to Cosmopolitan, Bruce said, as Prince Harry is no longer a serving officer in the armed forces, it is unlikely he will wear a uniform. If they choose to marry in St George's Chapel which the couple have confirmed they will do in May, as the Earl of Wessex did, I would expect he would choose morning dress. However, Bruce says that if he wanted to the prince would have the option of wearing a uniform and would be most likely to choose the captain in the Blues and Royals part of the Household Cavalry Regiment, which was his uniform while serving. Mail Online have contacted Kensington Palace for a comment. Meanwhile Meghan, 36, is expected to wear a classic and simple gown after previously hinting at what her dream wedding dress would look like. Before she was to be Prince Harry's girlfriend, the actress, 36, described in an interview how her ideal gown is something that is classic and simple, calling Carolyn B. Set Kennedy's wedding dress her everything goals. Meanwhile, she also said the fairy tale gown worn by her suit's character Rachel Zane was not my personal style, saying that she'd prefer something more relaxed. This suggests that Meghan's wedding dress is likely to be rather different to the Duchess of Cambridge's traditional gown by Alexander McQueen, which she wore to walk down the aisle in 2011. Speaking in an interview with Glamour about her dream dress, Meghan said, Classic and simple is the name of the game, perhaps with a modern twist. I personally prefer wedding dresses that are whimsical or subtly romantic. Explaining how she wouldn't choose a gown like the Anne Barge dress worn by her character in season 5, she added, It's not my personal style, because I'm a lot more relaxed than Rachel but I love that I got to play dress up in this gown. Meghan also cited her the minimalist white gown worn by Carolyn Bissett Kennedy on her wedding day in 1996 as her all-time favorite celebrity wedding dress. The classic dress worn by John F. Kennedy Jr.'s bride was designed by American designer Narcisa Rodriguez, who was little known at the time, suggesting he could potentially be in the running to design Meghan's own gown. The actress also listed some of her favorite wedding dress labels, including French designer Delphine Manavet and Greek-based designer Christos Costarellos. She declared herself a fan of both Elie Saab and Jay. Mendel, who may also be in the 